Okay, this is the uh, August 20th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. We're being taped by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing later on by our residents and the public. First item on our agenda is the minutes for the August 6th meeting. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? Yeah. They look great. Any changes or additions? Not by me. Okay, great. Great job again, Lisa, thank you. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for the August 6th meeting. Do second. second? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Yes. All right, next item, we have three vendor warrants. We have a, uh, a warrant for $82,085. We have a payroll warrant for $77,817 and a payroll deduction warrant of $18,993. I'll make a motion that we approve those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Okay. All right, next item. Select board uh, member meetings attended. Phil, do you have any for the last two weeks? No, I do not. Blissfully, meeting free. <laughs> meeting free for the last two weeks, yes, huh? Yes. Okay. I had a couple, so, okay. um, and one of them will lead to a little more discussion later. But uh, so we had our very first um, meeting with Comcast to begin the discussion of renewing our Comcast franchise, and uh, and it was mostly just sort of a meet and greet of the new committee. We all got together, introduced ourselves, and talked about how often do we think we need to meet and whether we want to hire a lawyer and things like that. So, mm -hmm. um, and we'll be having another meeting in about a, about two more months. And Eileen was there. And, and, and the most important thing that we talked about was how's the extension going? <laughs> you know, um, what's the real update? Uh, there, there, until recently, there were still about two or 250 homes in Conway that did not have, that could not connect to Comcast. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and mostly in the outskirts of town where Comcast was reluctant to pay the cost to bring uh, service to those parts of town. And, uh, and over the last many years, we've been negotiating with the state and the state has kicked in a bunch of money to, to, um, to, to increase the percentage of coverage of Comcast for about 10 towns in Western Massachusetts that have Comcast franchises, but have a significant number of homes that are not connected. And, uh, and their due date was the end of August. And, they, and many people in town did not believe they would meet that due date, which they did. The construction is 100% complete. And the real reason I'm saying this is for the camera, that if anyone is out there having trouble, call me because, um, I think Comcast is a fairly aggressive sales organization and they may try to talk you into buying more than you're interested in. And I have had a number of people call me not understanding the Comcast packages that the salesman was encouraging them to purchase. And so if you think you're being pressured or if you, you know, basically, although this is the first time many people are buying into Comcast, you have available to you all of the normal Comcast services, not, you know, that you have to take triple play or that you have to take home security or things like that. If all you want is internet, you can buy only internet. Uh, and, and they have inexpensive packages. And then you can buy gigabit internet if you want it. But, um, but if you, but I want, you know, and people watch, believe it or not watch our video here so um, and so, so if you have if if you have trouble give me a call and, uh, and so we also had a meeting last week um, with the the Energy Committee and the Energy Committee is is trying a new tact to build solar behind the grammar school mm -hmm. and uh, there's an interesting project being built up in Wendell uh, being built through Northeast Solar, one of the local solar outfits. And um, the, the real, we had a big solarized project here in town where 25, 30 people in town all collectively built their solar together 
with a different solar outfit, but and that's all done and uh, pretty much over. Um, but there were many people, there were probably close to 100 people in town who for one reason or another could not put up solar. Um, if they rent, um, if they their roof is not oriented right, if they don't have a good sized backyard. If they have a beautiful large maple tree that covers up the whole southern exposure. <laughs> that they don't want to cut down. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. So there are a great many people for lots of reasons that could not participate in the solar program and that's been a real interest of the energy committee and this this and and there are projects like we're looking at in southern conway where there's going to be a large solar field built and people can buy into it or people can buy their electricity through that community solar project at a discount from whatever source charges <coughs> Um, but that doesn't give you the benefits of solar. It doesn't give you the the, ta the uh, federal tax write-offs and the SRECs and all of the good things that, if you can participate in solar, um, help you pay for it and help it be affordable. Mm -hmm. And and so, so Northeast Solar has figured out how to build a real solar co-op where the solar field is owned by the co-op members. And so this is different than what an organization like Co-op Power has done, where the solar field is owned by Co-op Power and funded by extremely wealthy investors who put up the money and get all of the benefits of the solar program. And so this is a true co-op where the solar is owned by the co-op members and the co-op members take their share, depending on how many panels they purchase, of SRECs and, you know, federal tax credits and all those good things. And, uh, and so Dorothy Solar has figured out a way to do this. They're building one right now up in Wendell. Coal Rain is really interested and our energy committee is looking like that may be a good way for us to achieve this goal of being able to offer solar to people in town who couldn't do it before. Um, so, so anyway, those are my two meetings. Great. I feel like I was at that meeting myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think it's really exciting. Thank, thank you for that so. very comprehensive uh, yeah. review. Um, I attended a meeting last um, Monday night um, for the it was a forum of the four candidates who are up for Stan Rosenberg's seat. And although Stan is not our senator, I went to see what was what was happening. Uh, it was over at Deerfield Academy. Very interesting. Um, set of people who are running for his seat. It is an interesting set. Uh, yes, it is. So it was interesting to hear their views. Absolutely. Did you end up with a, a favorite? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like any of them? I, I won't comment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, well, they, all, they all had good points what's and, interesting and points that weren't so good. Yeah. So I don't know if you're following the race, but Stan dropped out right at the last minute. There was only one person who was actually on the ballot. Mm -hmm. uh, three or four more people have now come into the race and they'll all be write-in candidates. And so there's a lot of discussion going on about, um, the, especially the towns that count by hand, there's no place on the ballot with a line that says right in the candidate's name. And so no one's quite sure what kind of instructions are going to be provided. It's, it's a big... It's, it's a big issue, and, and the election's over before it begins. And and so the so the one person who's running and will have her name on the ballot yeah. is yeah. has big a big advantage. Big yeah. advantage, and the person who many people are supporting is a write-in candidate. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah. Well, thank Sorry. you. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So that was my uh, that was uh, my only meeting since uh, uh. it's been you know it's August so it's. Uh, but anyway, all right, Tom. Do we have our poll hearing people here? Uh, we do not have anyone from EverSource. Perhaps we they do. went to uh, Five Academy Hill, but they're not here. Okay. Um, however, we do have people who can speak about the project, and I don't well, think we have any public comments because I haven't seen anybody. And I think let's, you're here for the uh, festival. Correct. Let's wait a I couple of minutes until we, you know, maybe EverSource will show up. Maybe we can do the appointment. You're going to like the meeting yeah. so much you'll come back to another one. Mm -hmm. We're liking it so far. You'll volunteer. I'm very how often you are. Every other week. These meetings are addictive. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. We'll do. <laughs> We'll do our appointments right now. Move that up on the agenda. 
All right. All right, we have uh, under new business, we have to appoint Jonathan Barkin to the Cable Advisory Committee for a term ending June 30th of um, 2019. Do we have a certificate for him? There should be one in the yellow folder. Okay. I thought we had appointed him, but I'm not sure. No, we hadn't appointed. We appointed two others, but he was one that we didn't get oh, okay. the first round. He came. He came to the meeting. He came to our. our I know, and, that, and that's yeah. how I found out that we had to appoint him. It's not in there, John. Yeah, no, it isn't. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll take a we'll take a vote on. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you know Jonathan? Yeah, yeah. very well. Okay. Then you do. And, and yes. Yeah. Yeah, I know him as well. Um, do you want to say any anything in his favor? You're on the cable committee. Uh, um, I thought he was it, but that's not it. Um, he knows he knows broadband, you know, extremely well. He, you know, he's his business revolves around sending massive files. So, from the early days of broadband, actually, he has been involved with with finding ways to connect his house to to broadband. And mm -hmm. and, uh, and and he he bought a house here in Conway. Um, a few, maybe five years ago when he didn't have broadband and it's been a real struggle and, and whether or not he was going to buy a house here, you know, he, he bought it hoping that they would get cable someday. And so he's one of the homes that got connected just a few weeks ago and, uh, Good. and he's very happy. All right, I'll make a motion that we appoint uh, Jonathan Bark into the Cable Advisory Committee for term ending June 30th, 2019. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay. Um, next, we have to appoint uh, Bob Baker, Robert mm -hmm. Baker, as emergency dispatch coordinator and uh, fire warden uh, for a term ending June 30th, 2019. Do I have a second on that? I'll make that second. motion. Sure. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay. Don't know what those positions are, but they sound important. And Fire, uh, fire warden? Yes. Bob is our fire chief yeah. and was a selectman until a few months ago. We have a second appointment for Robert Baker as the um, uh, member of the Franklin Regional Emergency Planning Committee for term ending June 30th, 2019. I'll make that motion. Do we have a second? Second. All right. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Okay. Sheila, you're here for the Festival of the Hills. Yes. What do we have from from you? Phil will ask me to come. Part tonight. of it is the form. Is the the, the form that there's a form that. Tom has. Yeah. Let's see what's here. So the Festival of the Hills is a giant event we have here on about the first weekend of October. Of October. The September thirtieth. Or this this year it's yes, yeah, right at the end. It's always the week the Sunday before Columbus Day. Mm -hmm. Oh that's good. So this year it falls on the thirtieth, but normally it's like the October third or fourth, something like that. Uh -huh. It's yeah, recently the time to invite your family to come because there's something to show them all. There's a day long yeah, festival there, there's neat stuff, and the parade, and the cookout, all this good stuff. We have heard great things about it. Even an hour or two would be great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the form, it's, it's not actually a form, it's, it's we need a certificate of insurance. Hey, Sue said she was taking care of that and getting it. Hey, so you doing? Tyler. Right. Hey, that's that's really all that's holding Phil Cantor. Everything else. Mm -hmm. We need that form. I've got mm -hmm. that certificate. Okay. And then they said talk about something else. So, so what are we doing for you? Mm -hmm. she, uh, waiting for Tom, and then we'll, we'll talk about it after. Okay. We Where, where's Tom? Oh, oh it's Tyler it's Daniel. Wonderful to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for coming. Why, why don't we get Tom in here? Hey, Tom. 
Can we stink by her? Excuse me. Uh, I use your name for the Tyler. Tyler. Mm -hmm. Nelson Arrows. N E L S one. Hyphen Y A R R O W S. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Festival of the Hills. What do we have? What are we here for? Uh, the insurance thing um, already addressed. Well, and then I mean, part of it is we wanted to know. Um, you know what we can what we can do to support the meeting within to support the festival within the confines of what we can do, um, and it's why this is on the agenda. Um, Phil asked that it be on the agenda at the last meeting. Okay, yeah, we we always yeah. we always do what we can for the festival in terms of, of reducing the, the cost since they're now a private organization. That's what you're talking about, right? Right, and. Um, and, see, and at the time that I made this request, and I, like I, I, I had been under the impression that the uh, town meeting had traditionally given uh, direct funding to the festival, and I had always thought it was five to eight thousand dollars. And I saw just an hour ago, sitting with Tom, that it had really been more like fifteen hundred and twelve hundred. Eight hundred um, to twelve hundred. What, 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 yeah. And. and um, uh, but, they but used to that, basically pay for the porta potties. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but that it had also been a practice for that money to, to not be spent and to be uh, that, that it wasn't. It, it, there was some some of it got returned to the town um, eventually, but it depends what we what, what we were you know what the actual bill was. And that since since um, there was the issue with the the thirty thousand dollars from the two fiftieth being returned back to the town. Um, I thought that it would be opportune to it, that if it whatever to make that request out of that thirty thousand dollars to give back twenty eight five or whatever uh, instead of thirty and fifteen hundred dollars. But um, so that's what I wanted. That's the answer to your question. That's why I wanted you here. Okay. All right. Uh, Do you have anything to add to that? Uh, no, in order for money to be allocated for an expense, it has to be it has to be approved by town meeting, unless mm -hmm. it's like a trust fund that the select board yeah. controls. Yeah. Um, and uh, we do have that uh, about eight thousand um, dollars that we will um, give for services rendered for putting on the, the festival, as we did uh, last time. Uh, you know, two years two ago, years. it was uh, it was ten thousand dollars, and that's the end of the amount that had been saved up previously for starting um, the following year's stuff. So that's that's that is available, and we're just waiting for a certificate of insurance for that to be uh, approved by well to get the festival to sign the contract to do it. We've all we've all approved that already here. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know much more than that. Other than I, I love the festival, of the hills. I want to support it with their, with what we can, um, and so that's. We, we it's meant do, a lot to me since I first. We moved will here. do everything and, uh, we can within the law, to, to support and, the festival. And and I think in the past there has been a, a, a donation of fire and ambulance time, and I know a lot of the police have it in their budget, uh, to have details and things like that. I know that they did. Uh, um, the ambulance did at least ask for money for the road race. Correct. Part of it. Um, and the police were asking for over two thousand dollars. So we can um, we can we can. Uh, I I don't know whether this year that money is in the police budget or not. We, we can we can find that out. But I'm, I'm sure Ken usually puts it in there. He usually does, and he knew it was coming up again this year. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if it were. But um, that's that's the only consideration, as far as uh, as far as I'm concerned. And then we can, you know, you can request departments to put it in their budget for next year, and I can make sure, sure that happens. So does that mean the festival is yeah. going to have to pay for police and fire, or do we not have to worry about that now? Or we'll we'll talk to the chief about okay. that. Does okay. that does that satisfy your concern? Uh, we're going to talk to the chief. We're going to ask him that we want the festival not to have to pay for it. We're going to ask the chief what he can do and see if he can get some voluntary uh, time. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sheila, Sheila, you have anything else? No, that would be a great help because I take that was looking at a third of our budget for the uh, scholarships. Okay. Mm -hmm. so All right. That really would help the scholarship fund. Mm -hmm. So among the things that we could do, are we going to march in it? Do we usually march in the parade? I, that suit, uh, that is Kate French's area. Yeah. It's after Labor Day, I can't wear my hat. And my straw hat straw is not what gentlemen wear after Labor Day. <laughs> well, you know, we can make an exception for you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Are we set? Yes, yes, yes. Well, yes, 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 yes. If we're, if we're going to march in it, I might make some new T-shirts. Uh, okay. That's a good idea, too. All right. That's good. All right. We'll finish with this. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay. Next item, we'll go up to, um, to the next item on our agenda, which is the poll hearing. Tyler, you're here from Eversource? Correct. And you're going to tell us about the poll that yes. you want to move or that you want to put in place. Yeah, so existing okay. currently, we have a poll uh, that Verizon is currently on as well right. um, on their private property. Right. Um, we're going to move it closer to the road um, due to their request um, on town tape. And we are going to abandon the rights of Verizon which uh, it is on my understanding that they are also going to um, abandon and remove the pole themselves afterwards. And they would then move to the new pole too? No, they. I don't believe that's the case. Is, are they, you guys still going to have Verizon at this point? or? No, we have no contract with Verizon at the house. So, so, so the, yeah, so Verizon the, is going to... So the, pole, the pole that's existing is on, is on private property? Correct. Correct. Yes. And you're moving the pole to uh, the easement yeah. uh, that the town has on the road? Correct. Okay, and that pole is going to be taken out? Yes. That existing the pole? The existing pole, correct. Okay. Where is so we're not going to have, over that? We're not going to have two poles within three feet of no. the road. We're going to have a new pole. Your lines are coming onto that pole. Correct. Okay, and Verizon is? Verizon's gone. gone. Comcast. Okay. We have a Comcast, a Comcast service. Right. I'm not sure how that plays that'll, out. That'll, that'll go yeah, on, that'll go Comcast can switch over to us, but yeah. Verizon is their custodial area, okay. so they have to do the setting and um, removal of poles if they are on it. Okay. That's why that we are <coughs> petitioning the town currently is because okay. they're not going to be on it. What do they have a time frame within which they have to act? Mm, usually, um, they have 30 days to take notice when we send a document over and then they have another 30 to uh, to take action, so. Okay, so what we're doing here is replacing one pole with a new pole, switching the lines over and the old pole gets taken out. Correct. And, and the, the advantage is to have it on town property as opposed to private property? Uh, not for us, um, just it's due to their request. The mm -hmm. Can I speak to that? Uh, yeah. Sure. The advantage to us is that the current site would require we take out this big, beautiful tree, a 70-foot uh, beautiful tree at the base of our driveway. A healthy sugar maple. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's our interest is in preserving that tree. So to move yeah. it far enough away from the tree that we don't have to take that out brings it off of our property onto town property. Is we are we're going to be going to primary if I'm not mistaken, correct? We're going to go up to a panel. We need an eight foot clearance right. um, between any um, high voltage lines, and that would be an infringement of that. that um, how, how, radial how far off the road is this pole? The it's 18 from center line, and it's so it's three feet off. Three feet off. Okay. Yeah, huh. but that can you know we can give or take a little bit in that. Okay. All right. Anybody else have any questions? Okay. It's good to save a tree. So also so sacrificing a tree to put a new pole in, but <laughs> it's good to save a tree. <laughs> Many people, once they get Comcast service or it's part of their Comcast service, they get their telephone through Comcast and not Verizon. I see. Yeah. And you can do both. Some people have stuck with Verizon too. Uh -huh. And part of it is we did cover the roof. We put on a new roof so that we could cover it with solar panels. So, and hence the upgrade. <laughs> Any other questions? All right, I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the petition of Eversource to um, relocate a new pole in front of 377 Bardwell's Ferry Road and that the old pole that's ex presently there will be um, taken out by Verizon, is that? 
they're going to take it out? Yeah. Correct. Once okay. we ship, take our, our lines off and ship okay. them over. And they'll take out the pole Correct. within what time period? Uh, they have 60 days. 60 days. Uh, it's okay. not really. So you're installing a new pole, yeah. not yeah. relocating an existing pole. Exactly. Correct. The new pole has okay. it's a different size. It's taller. All right. Do I have a second on that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you for coming, Tyler. I wish everything was Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yep. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. It's a public meeting, you know, whatever you want to. How many times? Yes. And thank you, new neighbors, for caring enough to show up. You're welcome. Yeah, thank and you. we're looking for ways that we can be involved. We can find that. Uh, yeah. What's your phone number? We're always looking for volunteers. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. Um, call Daniel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this is, it's, it's, uh, it's on camera, so you should just like write it down. Okay, we'll write down right, right. about the right. right. Yeah, just because I know his particular skills that will be helpful. And come to the special town meeting uh, September 24th at the, at the grammar school. Right. We're a town meeting form of government, so you, yeah. you vote on the budget to the town and that's the special, what this particular one is, the uh, special one or? The, the budget's voted on in the spring. But you vote on policy. There will be some too. special right. items this time. Yeah, we wanted to be at the spring one, but had a commitment. We you'll you'll get a, a mail, a mail. Right. right, yeah, we'll come. Thank you if we can. Great, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Take care, nice meeting thank you both. Same. Thank you. Oh, same. A lot of paperwork associated with the uh, with the poll poll hearing, yeah. And and the town makes a little money off the poll, right? I mean, we, yes, we so, uh, five dollars a it, month. It's personal, personal, what it is. personal so. property of the company, so um, will now be paid by EverSource instead of Verizon, more or less. Most of the new growth in Conway has come from upgrades to business personal property as opposed to new construction recently. Whatever we can get. Yeah, how many copies of the of these do they need? Because we've got I think we've got six copies. Uh, they, is there any signature on here? I didn't see one. They may be different documents, but uh, maybe not. No, there's only there's only there's only two that we have there's, to sign. Yeah, there's two documents. Yeah. Okay, but there's a lot of copies. Yes. All right. Uh, I think I return most of them to EverSource. Okay. And we can just can I get one. those those two down there? They still have. Yeah. And the and the diagram. Ah, so no, I just gave you one. Yeah. Here's another one. Yep. Get another one? Okay. That's it. Two, two signatures. Great. One here and... Yeah, there's two of them. There's two of them. Great. Okay. Oh, this goes with that too. Okay. Keep that paperwork together. All right, next item is the special town meeting warrant. Tom, what do I have? Just to review, um, the uh, portable toilets are, of course, part of the Parks and Rec program, but there was a period when the uh, uh, covering those bills back back. was, uh, who was covering them? Might, might have been unclear. Uh, at any rate, there are two bills that we owe from 2013 and 2015, which have been you know, riding along on our balance. And I finally asked for clarification on that. And so we need a uh, town meeting vote on um, to 
approved payment because they're prior fiscal years. Um, right, right. Okay. And so it, it just just a question of. Um, and it takes a nine tenth vote in town meeting. Getting lost in the shuffle to pay a bill from a prior fiscal year. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes, it's uh, not a lot of money, so I'm hoping it gets approved. Yeah. Um, uh, for articles two and three, um, I've had a suggestion that the consultation be with the administrative assessor, or rather than the entire board. I don't feel strongly about it, um, though I think if it were the board, it would make more sense to the town. Um, it's a larger group of people. We don't know who the administrative assessor is going to be in 10 years, that kind of thing. Um, so uh, I don't know how you'd want to handle that. Um, when we print this out, if you could get that down to 11 points instead of 12, that would be helpful. Uh, so that's, that's, um, that's for the uh, negotiating payment in lieu of taxes. The thing is that uh, right now they have a, uh, an excellent lawyer who advises them on this sort of thing. And really what we're doing is getting that lawyer's advice um, and working in consultation with uh, that firm. Uh, but of course, for the purposes of town meeting, I think we would say something about the assessors, whether it was the board of assessors or the administrative assessor. Um, and, and they is next amp in this case. I mean, next we're, we're, okay. we're looking specifically okay, right. at this this one project. Yeah. Uh, then it made sense, and the the fellow from next amp wrote and uh, said, "Let's just have the um, have the approval be for this particular project." And of course, he. He's anxious that there not be any roadblock to that, mm -hmm. and it would actually be fine for the for the previous article to be amended to negotiate for this particular project as well if we needed to do that. And I'll I'll prepare a, a motion for that if that if it seems like a lot. But in reality, it's going to be the board of selectmen mm -hmm. negotiating all of the all of those. So if we can do this uh, now, then uh, let's say we're approached in you know the week after town meeting by another company wanting to do this um, we can go ahead with that negotiation phase without having a special town meeting mm -hmm. and uh, the fellow from next time also said that usually uh, negotiations and approvals are approved by town meeting as part of the same warrant article I said there was a little mm. little reticence to do that here um, and part of that, I think, may have been because it was for any and all projects. But uh, still, it's clearer this way, as, uh, as you pointed out before. So um, that's why this has evolved the way it has. Mm -hmm. uh, and part of the reason that I'm, that I'm concerned about the negotiation is because I have heard that there may be another project that somebody's considering. So okay. we may be in the... In the realm of negotiating uh, a pilot certainly before May is mm -hmm. is how it was presented to me okay um, the uh, article 4 hasn't changed article 5 hasn't changed so, uh, article so article, just, I want changed. to make sure I understand so yeah. article 2 is granting us the authority to negotiate yes, yes. And, and, and it's specific on all the pilots for also so, uh, all private solar projects but yes. article 3 is asking the town asking town meeting to approve an agreement still to be negotiated an, an agreement we haven't negotiated yet and so I have asked them to come in and explain this to town meeting uh, that, that this, this is, is done. the way that I, it's it's normally I, done. I can imagine pushback that, that so can I okay mm -hmm. yeah. but okay sir. Um, and I will mention too that we need votes from the board of selectmen on mm -hmm. these articles and I do believe the finance committee has come to uh, give us their we, we have the contributions as well. Yeah. And so one question would be the cost of the project and how much, what the impact would be on the town finance. And these, these basic questions, by the way, are not. So we're kind of reluctant to make a recommendation to at least have some information. Well, we're only talking about the process here. 
All right. Yeah. We're, we're not talking about any, any, any dollar numbers. I mean, in theory, we like the idea of investment in this town and all that. So, I mean, we're on board with that. But you know about the solar project. I mean, we, were, we don't know. Actually, no, not too much. I know it's on, a, it's on private land. We right? had a small meeting here a while ago, but I don't remember if you were here. So. No. I would remember. The assessors were here. There was a cast of thousands. Of wow. Mm -mm. Do you want to fill us in? You haven't spaded it sure. along. Come on, Daddy, tell us a story. <laughs> well, Nexamp, Nexamp is looking to build a large solar array in mm -hmm. Southern Conway. Oh. And All right. I don't remember the family's name. Newman? Do I have that yeah. right? I think. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Um, they own they own a large property on on Main Poland Road, almost where it goes into Williamsburg. Oh, road. Tom and Sarah. Or Ashfield. Yeah. Yeah. It borders Ashfield. Yeah. Ashfield. The property. Ashfield. Probably. I mean, Ashfield. Yeah. If yes. you were to turn yeah. right on Williamsburg Road, yes. you'd be in Ashfield. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and the advantage of this property is that uh, three-phase power goes all the way from Route 116 all the way down uh, North Poland Road and then Poland Road all the way down to Williamsburg Road and went to the old Culver Pallet Factory. Uh -huh. And um, and it, one of the great advantages of this project is I could easily imagine Eversource taking that down um, if it's completely unused. And the, and these, these, these large commercial solar projects only can exist where there's three-phase power. Mm -hmm. So... Um, uh, so this, the, so we don't know how much this is going to be, but it's it's a fairly large solar array. The the real advantage also, from Nexamp's point of view, they're the company that's looking to build it. What's is the company? Nexamp, N E X T A M P, or maybe N E X A M P. It's a new name. It used to be something else. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, they have, they have some more installations elsewhere. Lots of they're, them. They're, and you, they're big. They're big in in you, you, Massachusetts. You can you can look up Nexamp and look for towns, and you can look and see what the pilot projects uh, payments are that they give to other towns. It's all public. Um, uh, but a, but a real advantage. Uh, uh, from their perspective, from Nexamp's perspective, is that no one will be able to see this project from the road or from any really any property in Conway. Um, from where the road is, it'll be tough to build. But yeah. you climb up an extremely steep driveway up to where the project is going to be built, wow. and there's other than Google Maps, you will not be able many, to see this. How many acres? Fifteen or twenty acres for that. Oh, it's, they're thirty. Acres. It might be thirty acres of panels. Wow. The, the, they've, acres. they've cut that down because they found more wetlands on the yeah. uh, on the site. Oh. So the, the the number that's in here is a little bit smaller than what they talked about here. Used to be oh. it used to be six megawatts. Six megawatts. Now yeah. it's five. All right. So they've reduced it by yeah, fifteen. Twenty solid acres of percent. panel right. Yeah. right. So and I have questioned before the wisdom of. Uh, of town meeting giving away the ability to approve the pilot agreement. Um, I, I think it's great for the select board to negotiate one, um, but the second part of that process is who approves it and, and whether, uh, I, I think town meeting, I, I'd argued before that town meeting is a good backstop to, for, for an, an agreement that, um, and that it potentially is the way to get the best deal for the town. Um, you make your best offer to the select board and then have to come to town meeting and potentially increase your offer to get the votes. Um, and it also gives the town sort of a breather space between the time that it's a approved by everybody and whether it goes before town meeting so that there's still a sense that this is what you want to do. And I thought that those are good, good, uh, you know, town meeting giving away a portion of its authority. Uh, in that regard, I don't see. I don't. I question the wisdom of. But the select board will still have the authority. We can say yes or no. I mean, it's not that it's pre-approved, right? And I, I, I'll just note that um, Nexam has also expressed that if they did have to wait until the annual town meeting for approval, that it would probably make the project not worthwhile for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they can call a special town meeting. We can. Um, that this is. That's. It is. This is a special town meeting. Well, no, um, so, so another one, and um, I would question the wisdom of calling a special town meeting for a single commercial project for a single. Yeah. Um, yeah. If we had to call a special town meeting for every 
pilot project, which I think there may be another one coming along in a, in okay. a month or two. Look, I'm a relatively yeah. informed person, but I have to tell you, and I subscribe to the Greenfield Recorder, but I had not been scouring it because it's summer, a lot of stuff going on. This is the first I really knew that something concrete was in, in the world. This hasn't, this hasn't been Well, a I've been sending out this agenda no. for some time. I've been sending out copies of this warrant for some time. It, you, you, you're right. It, this project is still in the works. It hasn't happened yet. We, we, they may offer too low a pilot that we're not well, interested. But I'm They're, saying, are there abutters that are going to be? You know, all of that is going to have to happen. So it hasn't happened yet. Right. Right. I mean, so in, well, the theory here is that it'll cost the town nothing, right? Right. That we'll get additional revenue from it because of the taxing of the leasehold right. improvements. And 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 that camp is open to us suggesting things that will make the program go more smoothly. Like, uh, I mean, one of the things that came up here was might they be willing to install charge stations here in the town or at the Conway Grammar School or something like that. You know, it's sort of like in in their that's general right. realm that's of what they do. And yeah, so and they said they would love to talk about it. You know, it, so part of uh, in Conway isn't some of the the power on the river part of the taxes. Yes, uh, we get a how personal that, property I mean, tax however, from the owner of the dam. Right now, how will that measure? How will that what, what they pay? How will that match what these guys are going to pay? There's a very narrow range for what's for what the pilot can be, and I'm not an expert on it, but I know that there's not a lot of negotiating room for what the actual payment is going to be. It's the ancillary items, other considerations that are part of the process that I think will be more negotiable from our point of view. There, there, may, be, there may be some room. Mm -hmm. um, with you know payments. what I'm saying? Yeah, is yeah. How, the, how close the, is it going to be to what the, the, what the, the Canadian outfits get in tax on the, the They don't pay a pilot. They pay um, yeah. an amount based upon the value of What's the a pilot a payment in lieu of taxes i'm sorry yeah. payment in lieu of taxes so they they pay taxes based upon the value of the of the dam and the generators yeah. that they have there yeah. mm -hmm. and 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 nexamp prefers and most of the projects they've built in massachusetts they negotiate a pilot mm -hmm. they just find it's a lot easier and i, I you know it would yeah, be interesting to compare they them must, they also must know that the, the property taxes in Massachusetts continue to keep going up. <laughs> I, have a question, uh, I, guess, I would wonder on the trade-off. Uh, I'm just saying how uh, similar uh, is those two going to be because they're both producing power. Right. So uh, does, does the Foreign Regional Council of Governments have anyone who could advise you as select board members in terms of how to negotiate, what to look for, pointers, this and that, or any other entity that's... The Board company? of Assessors has a lawyer who mm -hmm. has this as, a, as his main area of work and has proved very good for us in the past. Mm -hmm. right. And there were changes to the tax code, federal tax code, three or four years ago uh, about pilots, and that's why corporations, large corporations especially, mm -hmm. are much more willing to enter into them now than they ever used to be because their fa the tax treatment federally is favorably treated now. Mm -hmm. um, so. Uh, uh, so I, you know, it would be interesting. I don't know what how much taxes we get from the dam. That would be an interesting. Yeah, I'm just saying. Data just kind point. of wondering, you know, um, uh, that the, the, the towns that I've looked at, they are paying around twelve thousand dollars per megawatt. And so when we thought there was going to be six megawatts, you know, that's seventy thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Um, and 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 I'm and I think the dams are 4.8 megawatts, so it would be interesting to find that number and see how they compare. Well, just kind and, of wonder. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. But seventy thousand dollars a year is worth having a special town meeting for it just by itself. <laughs> if you ask I, me, I think I agree. Well, we, we don't know how much. It's we don't know what they're going to offer us. Mm -hmm. You're right. This would be a very large project for them. Mm. If this is a finance committee. We hope if we had some number that we can really feel comfortable. I can just, you know, that's our, looking at it strictly from the lens of the finance committee. You know, being a quote unquote you know narrow focus now as a committee, 
it would be helpful if we have some well some idea. Since, since, about since this is yeah. not um, about numbers but is about process, maybe we maybe we don't need to list a finance committee recommendation for these items. You know, essentially, this is something that's going to give us more revenue, oh, one yeah. way or the other. Oh, I we just I don't have a set number yet. Yeah. Because we're supposed to say what impacts the, the time finance committee is supposed to not say if it makes sense or not. It's supposed to say what, how does it impact the town finances? Well, obviously it's revenue accretive, and mm -hmm. so you know I don't know when the money would come to us, but it would certainly if it would at least be neutral in terms of impacting the FY19 budget. And you could meet with uh, Lee, or or at least one of you could, and and find out what what the general mm -hmm. prognosis is for this sort of right. thing before town meeting. Okay. So when we had the meeting with them before, there were many people in the room who felt it was just obvious that we should have a pilot instead of mm -hmm. evaluating the value of the equipment and yeah. charging them our st standard ta taxes like we do with the dam. Um, and and the, the guy that Lee brought who has done this in many other towns, that was his opinion. Mm -hmm. um, and all, all this is going to do, this will give us the, the ability to get a number from them, right. you know, which, mm -hmm. which we don't have now. And is this a one-time payment, or is this an annual payment? Annual payment. Yeah, annual, this, annual this, would, this would be an annual payment. Mm -hmm. um, and, 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 taxes. Right. Right. But, and for many of the towns, there was there was an amount that went for the first 10 years, and it's a slightly different amount. I think it went up, yeah. but different so amount. So equipment for, might the, change, devalue, depreciate. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. depreciates, and it goes yeah. on accordingly. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But but you know one of the, it's based on the elect, amount of electricity, yeah, and, and so so um, and so that, that probably won't change very that. much. The rates, uh, electricity, electricity rates, if anything, are going to continue to go higher. So right, right, right. right. Understood. So, Sounds fine to me. I, yeah, I don't have any issues. Can, 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 can we make a can we make a provision that we are we are we are approving the process. But we like to put on the proviso that we also are concerned that we don't know what the. You can speak to that at town meeting. At town meeting. Um, what we're okay. looking for here is is a vote, and we're actually looking for for all uh, six articles. I think they all have potential financial impact. So, mm -hmm. and the board of selectmen hasn't voted on on any of the articles either. So, if we could go through and do that, I sure. Would, yeah, that would be very. What helpful. do you think of article one? Well, I mean, the answer is all four present, four opposed, none, none abstain. None if we all took ten dollars out of our pocket, we could. That's true. Right. Do it, so. so four, to all, four all in favor. Four. Uh, that's a good one. Yeah. How that's about the select one. board? Are we all in favor? Yes. Yes. Okay. This looks good. How about Article Two? Finance. That's the panel lower taxes for the project. That, that's for negotiating. Right. Right. It's, it's, right. That's the one we just talked about. The one we just talked That's about. It's, it's, the, the, it gives the us the, the, the authority process. to negotiate with Nexamp right. to get a number from them. Well, I think that's what's like not made clear in that article is the, the permission to negotiate. It doesn't explain whether once an agreement has been made with them, if it's going to town meeting or what the final that's approval true. process yeah, that's is. Point. That's what Article yeah. 3 does, yeah. and we can speak to that. Yeah, okay. to yeah. town meeting. Yeah, because Article 2 is, a, is an overall, and then Article 3 is very project specific. Yeah, it gives, a, gives an address. Yeah. It gives, us, the, gives the us the authority to approve this specific project. Yeah. Without consultation. So what NextAmp actually recommended was that Article 3 be that we ask for authority to approve pilot amounts that have been negotiated for all projects. And well, no, right? NextAmp just wanted a single article that granted authority to negotiate and approve the pilot project for their project. Right. But I, know, I have heard that there's another one coming along, and rather than have them wait until maybe May to, for the select board to be granted the authority to negotiate, I thought, since the select board is going to be the negotiating party in any case, in consultation with the board of assessors, which really means their lawyer. And their attorney, yeah. Then um, it makes sense to, to grant the authority to the select board to do all the negotiations, but bring specific projects back to town meeting for uh, 
to see whether they want to grant the select board the authority to approve it. Because the select board is the contracting authority for the town, so this, it's the select board that's going to I'm sign the contract, this. that's going to approve the agreement. So the question is, when does town meeting do that? And rather than have it be a general grant of approval, mm -hmm. it's obviously uh, more palatable for the town to do it project by project. Could the approval a, part. At, at the town meeting, could the finance committee make a recommendation that when the board of assessors gets to negotiating this rate on the, on the dollar amount leasehold improvements, that we are informed of what that dollar amount might be in terms of how it impacts the town budget so we can make even That's more. all going to be a public process. Be a public process. The select board negotiates with the, in consultation with the assessors. All right. Are those? But is it sounds like there's two public. There's yeah. a negotiation, the and then there's the no approval. Executive session. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's it. The approval right. will occur at town meeting in by in, for individual projects. The the granting of authority to the select board for approval. It's the select board that signs the contract, yeah. which is the approval of the project. Right. Yeah. So, town meeting will grant the select board the authority to sign off on the pilot. Um, but it's still the select board that approves or signs off on. Well, that's just a technicality because town meeting will know what the dollar amount is. Right. What do you guys I mean, think? at that point? Of three? I'm fine with it. We're, we're on two, right? Now we're on three. On three. On, on three. Hmm? I didn't, oh. I didn't hear two. No, no we, we didn't go to two. Two, 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 two would be to grant the authority with right. the process. Mm -hmm. To negotiate. to negotiate. Two is negotiating. Negotiate. Aye. Yeah, aye. aye for aye, aye. Article two. So four are all in favor. So to negotiate. Yes. To negotiate. Yeah, That's article three. Yeah. Negotiate. Okay, on three. Article three is a specific project. Uh, can we do this just checking in with the board? Yes. 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 Okay. Didn't hear a motion, but that's okay. Um, uh, one continuous rolling motion. So I feel like w the way it's being explained and the way it's reported yes, yes, or yes. not. Yeah, we're not that. The same. Yes. I was I'm going to ask who, who yeah, put the I wording into this article. We have a question about article three. Who did the wording for the article? Oh, wait. Sorry. Article three. I wanted to do no for article three. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. Who did the wording for Article Three? One thing here is it, what, what, what it that, says and what. Because I want to that was to have uh, that a negotiation authority. between myself and Nexamp. And Nexamp. Okay. Um, they they very much wanted this uh, specified in this particular way. So, so what Article modification did you make from Nexamp? In other words, it, um, did they just give it to you? I, I had it, original, it broke? Um, You broke them out into two articles. No. Yes. So yes. basically, this is what so, they've given you, and you broke, but you just broke it out in two separate articles at time. Is that is that right? Yes, and the first part allows the grants authority of the select board to do all Any the negotiations, negotiations, negotiations right. whenever they come up, and then we bring it back to town meetings. And Article project Three is project. very specific to, to this, this project. address. Yes, right. Right. Uh, but you were saying that it's still like this. If it, maybe it's a technicality to grant authority to the select board to approve a payment. So like put, after the town votes on it? No, like the town is good. So this says that in September, the town's going to vote on it without knowing numbers. Right. It's going to give the select board the authority to not just negotiate it, but approve it and just so when the town happens. will never know. Right. The, the town um, meeting will never approve it. Okay. So that's, that's why I was voting no on Article 3 because I wanted town to act town meeting to act as that backstop because um, I believe that you can guarantee yeah, yeah. you get a better deal that way. Right. Well, the, the, there's there's a, like there's a, lot of, there a lot of negotiation right. here in, in these, these uh, payments in lieu of taxes. Um, it's a very narrow range. I, 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 can, uh, I can suggest a, a good clarifying amendment here. In Article 3, after uh, uh, grant authorities to support to approve a payment in lieu of taxes, there should be the word agreement. A payment in lieu of taxes agreement, because it's not a single payment. It is an agreement, is what we're talking about. So a payment of lieu of of, in lieu of taxes agreement is what it really should say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. Okay. The same thing for Article okay, 2. Good. The same exact sentence. The same no, exact well, thing. that says to negotiate payment in lieu of taxes. Agreement. Um, so yeah. that's, it's I mean, we, we could, same thing. Well, then we'd have to insert the word A in front of it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, uh, that's not. 
You're going to put the word agreement in. One more yeah. letter is not going to hurt. Well, I think well, agreement is important. It is an agreement. It's actually it's a legal contract. I see. It's next thing I it just makes it. Uh, okay, so so on Article Two, uh, friendly. Uh, I can't really make an amendment, but uh, I what I heard uh, Phil say was that he was mo making a motion motion that uh, it should read to negotiate a payment, payment in lieu of taxes agreements. agreements. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Oh, Reads better. All right. Yes. Don't add agreements. A, just add an F. Uh, uh, yeah. After agreements. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that's that's they're next to each other negotiations. The yeah. But then a specific agreement, the authority for signing that contract, comes one by one from town meeting. Yeah. Okay. All right. So next, well, next thing we have a town meeting yeah. to. Uh, I want to have to just get it from your, your notes. Well, we're going to have to print it out soon. So after the word well, pilot, add agreements. I. Oh, yeah. in Article Two. All right. Everyone right. touches agreement, not agreement. Article yeah. Two should be agreements. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. So will so someone the next hand be at this town meeting? Do you think? Probably not, because their numbers are being tossed around. But they, I would expect that they would be when numbers are. Being now, I was thinking that there might. That, I mean, I don't know what the. What, what, so what's the? Uh, I guess we need the well, town court. Do, do we need a two-thirds majority for this, or is it for for, for pilot room? Do we have any precedent on that, or just a simple majority? Do you know? It's only for it's simple majority. majority. Simple majority. Yeah, the only thing two thirds. Might get hung up. Is money. Well, yeah, because sometimes it's a money thing. Sure. Flips people one way or the other. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they have to, have to get a lawyer to tell us. <laughs> well, 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 the uh, legal counsel was advising the Board of Assessors be uh, there to answer any questions? So, if this person has experience with other towns? Not if we got to pay him, I hope not. I don't know. I'm sure, they're available hours, what the lawyers would live for. Yeah. I don't know. Right, okay, how about four? What do you think of four? So we're going to skip over to four. So is this for Airbnb? Or are we looking at yes. Something? Yeah. So what do you think about that? We have a 4-0 vote opposed. Opposed? Opposed. So it's 4 Yeah. And the reason for that is the amount of dollar amount over here hasn't been, hasn't been specified, but the amount of effort to collect versus what we're going to get. No, no. Um, look, okay. Correctly? The Airbnb website explains it really well that in their frequently asked questions. They collect the sales tax. They collect it. For the town, and, uh, and they automatically mail, and, and the actual landowner has no choice in the matter. The property owner has no choice. Airbnb. Right, but how many Airbnbs are in common? Yeah. Okay, A bunch. I, I actually know this because my family comes and they, we need Airbnbs because they have dogs and I have dogs and they can't they, they peel in my car, whatever. So, bucks so we have, we have um, the last time I really checked, we have 12. And so one of them rents for two fifty a night. One of them for one seventy five a night. One for one twenty five a night. Wow. Um, Six percent tax. And um, so I have friends people? that have two of them, and they're averaging a hundred nights a year occupied. So that's, that's great. So the, thank you, Phil. So the, for this six percent, that so, goes to so the we state. We don't understand. And state, we and we and that's a certain no. portion to us. Six percent to us. Do you want to turn the air conditioner on? It's right. loud. But so there's ten thousand dollars to our bottom line. Correct. No, $10,000 no, total revenue, but 6% of those No, no. No, no. 10000 right. rough math, is about $10,000. Yep, and that's, right. that's to us, and it's out-of-towners that pay it. It's not... So it's Airbnb. It's, it's out-of-towners that pay it, not, right. a, not yeah, us. Right, I understood. I understood about that. So we need to revoke this? What are you voting? Because it wasn't explained to us here. This well, was, we this, this was just I, private. I, I don't know. I think $10,000 is an immaterial number. Is it immaterial? Yeah, but uh, over a decade. But, uh, over in other words, Airbnb is going to collect it whether or not we vote this or not, now. right? We have to vote it. Do they put it in? Oh, so yeah. we, we, $10,000 uh, is, you know, if we built two new So now they don't collect it for, yeah, yeah, for right. Airbnb or Conway? Correct. So the, the local government votes it, and then they put it into their, oh, Correct. okay. Yeah. And, so, and there's one other thing, too, that right now we have bed and breakfasts 
yeah. that have to pay taxes, right. that have right. to get, right. that have, right. that, right. that get, right. and it's it's really, un, like, we actually have yeah. driven the out of business the B&B in town. The bed and breakfast industry, yeah. yeah. industry in our town is really, so really so then you going after Amazon? What's that? Yeah. You're going after Amazon? If we could, but we can't. Um, but, so um, bed and we, breakfast are currently paying 6%? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And they have to get inspected by the Board of Health for their done whatever it is. Voluntarily, in other words, you don't have to go through a website. You know, but Airbnb, is there? An, there's no inspection for Airbnb. If the state law allows for health, um, um, health department Board inspection. Board of Health has to go ahead and, go, and, and look at um, supposedly. That's what I don't understand how Airbnb and bread and breakfast. How are they treated There's no food with Airbnb. There's some Technically, that's right. Some do, some don't. It's just a flat price. Oh, but that's the yeah. That's why they're treated differently. Right? I guess I don't know. But yeah, the health does. department inspections, I think, would would probably because Airbnb, you can actually, and, and people in Conway have done this. You can actually just rent out a couch in your living room on Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, seriously, yeah. is the toilet included? Oh, half the toilet. Uh, um, and, and that they, like some some of the accommodations that you can legally rent out on Airbnb are so sketchy that it makes sense maybe to get the Board of Health to like check for vermin and whatever and all that kind of thing seriously um, but if you, cause you can actually rent like a, a, a straw filled barn like to sleep in whatever in an Airbnb in some places it's and, the, Uber, and uh, wait, wait, just Uber. One, one, one clarification um, this is accepting a local it's accepting a mass general law it's not the bylaw right. it doesn't do anything right away there would have to be a process for writing a bylaw after this is accepted. Mm -hmm. This just enables the town to write the bylaw. So again, it's a process thing, but it's moving in that direction. That state law that you're citing there, is that like, was that a new one? Yeah. That was just the last just month um, trying to do with this? No, no. Um, th this has been around for a while. The one that we were <laughs> expecting that was going to be brand new was not signed into law by Governor Baker. It did pass, pass oh, both the House and the Senate. Or he no. just didn't sign it? It, it, it wasn't okay. signed. Um, so we're still waiting for an Airbnb tax law. How come he didn't sign it? You'll have to ask him. Uh, <laughs> he gave some statements that uh, um, people were wondering how closely his interests were aligned with Airbnb Corporation and whatever. Oh, that, um, whatever but, um, well, yeah, I mean, the way it's presented, it's like, well, yeah, why wouldn't you do that? I mean, like Alan said, we, we didn't really know what the hell what any of this was. But mm -hmm. based on the small town, it's like, well, why would the governor, if the two houses pass it, why would the governor not sign it? It just seems funny. I just was curious. Nothing about Baker in it. Just was wondering. It's a republic. Okay. What do you guys think? <laughs> of so, so Article four. So we'll what do we so think of Article four? Motion I love it. To approve Article I go for it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All, all three. Meeting. All four in. in favor. Okay. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Mm -hmm. Any I just think it's complicated. Any abstention? And it's more than. So you're abstaining? I'm abstaining. So three in favor and one in But one for abstention. the record, your reasons. I'd right, love to select what we'll hear your reasons. Yeah, have your reasons here. I just think that that ten thousand dollars to the bottom line of town is two new houses, and that's great because we need revenue and there's issues there. I think the flip side to it is that that people don't make a lot of money in this area and they might be airbnb to subsidize their income and there are no hotels in this area and we have a huge tourist economy in Shelburne Falls that bleeds out uh, I don't know parents staying from UMass or whatever but you you start adding tax to it and you start upping that nightly rate and I just think that their ramifications of that may end up hurting local people more than it improves our bottom line as a town. But I don't know the answer to that. I just think that it's complicated. So yeah, okay. the, well, one thing about that, that I did, um, because I do have um, two, two friends that have, that, so I have two different rental units are owned by, uh, Airbnb unit are owned by friends, and yeah. the, they report that almost all of their customers come from the Amherst UMass uh, Smith College uh, uh, nexus instead of the, the tourist thing, and that most of them do not 
consider any other places to stay anywhere. They don't search for hotels. They don't even mm -hmm. search for B&Bs. All that they do is Airbnb. Right. And um, it's and that that's a whole universe unto itself. Mm -hmm. So that they don't even they don't even compete. They don't even compete with with hotels anymore. Okay. Article five. Two houses in so, town. Article five. How many kids are in the houses? Yeah. Article five. There'd be none in this case. So, 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 what do you guys think of article five? You're right. So, so it's more than two. Yeah. Yeah. One or one kid. The whole one is getting where good deal. Yeah. So article five. So this is going to add two hundred thousand dollars on top of the of the, high, of the project already done. Finish four. Yeah. The garage stabilization. Where did this come from? The garage. Yeah. Stabilization? And no, we don't understand that it will ultimately be the select board who has the ability to, to approve. Does this add on to the overall cost of the project? Yes. Granted by town meeting. Correct. Correct. But so it's this particular project that you're voting. This um, is just to hire any, a, uh, an uh, owner's uh, project. Uh, whether it's general or, or particular. That the problem with it, I, I, I like it Guys, more what are we talking about? Sorry. All right. We're on Article 5. Article, Article 5. 5. So we had a question for you, Tom. You had a question. Does this add on to the overall project cost? That wasn't clear from how this was. No, this, no. It does not. No, this is part of the overall project cost. Okay. Thanks. As it was last time. This is the amount that we spent last time to get the same thing done. Okay. I don't want to lowball it. I have a hope that it's going to cost considerably less than it did that last time, this particular okay. phase. But I don't know that to be the case, and I don't want to have to go back and ask for more money. Could you define what is last time leading up to the uh, last 2013? Vote? So that was or, the, uh, whenever it was. 14. That was preparing yeah. plans and stuff leading up to the last vote. Where yes. it lost by two votes. Or yes, whatever. this is all going to lead up to that vote again. But with a different, aside from being a garage. It's being repermutated, reper redone, or we are going to see if we can do it cheaper, yet. and if we can't, I see. We'll go with what we have. Do you think that now is a good time to do that, all things considered, with uh, import and care effects? A year ago, this last town meeting, ta uh, the town meeting voted overwhelmingly in a straw vote to move ahead with the with the garage project. Mm -hmm. Right, and but straw vote. So, big, so big what, part of that, and they voted fifty thousand in raise and appropriate yeah, this I year, know, not even right. from free cash right. or not from mm -hmm. stabilization. Right, but so, from a resources yeah. and materials cost, we're looking at higher cost right now. And Every year we're looking at higher costs. That's yeah. been true for the last several years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my question was that with this, and the one that I really struggle with is, um, yeah. Th so this is hiring a project manager. I mean, uh, a clerk of the works essentially. And, for a project that is not approved by the town, right. and not, that, not yet. and I, I understand the, the the argument that they want to know exactly what it's going to cost, um, and my problem with that is a there's not really even a committee yet. Uh, that, uh, yeah, we, we have a garage it, committee. We, well, yeah. it, it, we have three more function. members to be appointed <coughs> next. All right, that's month. really good news. Yes, but the that's, other part is that is that word. that uh, you know I I don't understand why there's a need to know to the decimal place um, what it's going to cost. Uh, like, with, with, Were you around for the last I, I, I was, and, and it, you know, that, that, that we spent $200,000 before the last one um, to, to flesh all this out. It's all, and but what wh happened to all of that? It got, why aren't we? Got voted down. Right, but why meeting. are we coming up with a whole brand new plan? Because that's what I you have not. to do. I hope uh, not. I it, hope that we have some cost savings this time and, around. And I understand that you need to hire a clerk of the works for it's a project. Not it's not a clerk project this, this, is the, this is the new term well, no, for it. No, the, no. The, 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 the owner's project manager is just to get us to the point where we have specific plans to go out to bid so we know what it's going to cost. Mm -hmm. we, we and, have and then we go to cost. town meeting. For a a to get approval for that, we, and we ask approval for that. And number. the problem is that that uh, it requires two thirds vote in the ballot box, which is where these things in small towns historically. It's a two thirds vote at town meeting and right. a majority vote at the ballot. To, to borrow, to borrow. Mm -hmm. But it, it did not pass the two thirds vote at town meeting. Okay, but so so that's where this crashed and burned before, and yeah. and. Um, Rather than spending that money, yeah, the whole idea of spending the money before the thing gets approved and it could get voted down again, 
when you could just take the last number and multiply it by the rate of inflation That's what I was um, going to suggest. And, and, and not spend this money until the project's approved. That's but exactly we, we, don't, we don't know whether the plans that we had last time are going to be the same as the plans this time. Well, we have... Yeah, but we just blew through $200,000 without... With nothing. It was a, it was one hundred fifty thousand last time. Uh, the total cost was two hundred thousand, um, because we used other we used other uh, miscellaneous funds that had been allocated for this before as well. Yes, I thought it was very unfortunate that uh, that I now have a two hundred thousand dollar doorstop. There, so there certainly are people in that you have, but the town has. So, question. Well, the town uh, owns it. So, are there any good reasons why the existing plans that were drawn up could not be used in, to, in today's environment? In other words, we, that's our, where I hope the cost savings come from. I don't know that that's going to be the case. You mean the codes have changed so much? Or. Because we don't, we, we don't know. But we could find that out with a few phone calls and a few letters instead of spending $200,000. I, I think the plans that we got approved last time are good for three years. After three years, you get to get new plans. Whether they're the same plans or not, it's going to cost you, you money. The same, the, a stamp. But it may not cost, cost you as money. much okay. because but so the idea is to work off yet? of the old plans. We're, 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 we're over that. three years. Yeah. We're over three years. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But there are a great many people in town whose view is, I hope you aren't going to bring us that same plan again. And we're going to have to have a good justification that we still believe this is so the right plan. We'll do away with the bathrooms and, and budget for porta potties. <laughs> something. Yeah, I, I heard a few no, people we'll, <laughs> we'll go out to bid saying either bring us something cheaper than this or stamp these plans for us. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Some the material costs have gone up so, they're going up so rapidly just, right now. There's yes, they are. Going the they're going up a lot more than the general rate of inflation. Let's do that for stats. I mean, there's lots of viewpoints on this. There are. School. Yeah, and there's not. It's not necessarily a permanent situation. That's why it's like, I don't know. You don't buy when the stock market spikes. You wait till it falls back down. Like, you know, it's. <laughs> Costs are not expected to go down for construction materials, ever. Yeah. Right. Not, that's not but the know, import it, tariff yeah, situation yeah. If, is not if, it's, it's, it's five percent a year yeah. standard you add standard five percent a year to your right, materials costs if, if you're if you're in construction planning steel's going up that's, by 20 percent this year alone yeah that's what i'm saying but that's not because of general inflation that's because yeah. of a political situation that is not permanent correct and we don't know what the final bid pro proposal is going to be I will predict now that we'll end up paying more than we would have paid if we'd done it three or four years ago. Um, that what, said, the but the question is, do we want to spend this $200,000 before the project's approved or after the project's you approved? You cannot have the project approved without this money being spent. I, d I disagree. I don't Where does it say all right, that? Let, all right, we'll take a vote on it. All right. Who, you guys take a vote <laughs> on this article. Where does it say that? All right. Uh, yeah. Let's take a vote on the article. It's right over there on my... Uh, all right, let me think so. I don't have time now. Just I'll make a motion to approve Article 5. Uh, Phil? Yeah, I don't want to vote on this. Okay. Um, uh, I, 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 I'll, 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 I'll abstain. abstain. I'll abstain. Okay. I don't know enough to say yes, and I'm not willing to say so no. one abstain and... Two and abstain. Okay. Two, zero, one. And I hope to be persuaded to, to change my vote to it, yes. It's a matter of procurement law. All right, I will investigate it in that end. But since I have to vote now, I'm abstain. I will hope that the import I, I, tariffs I are been gone by the time. Any time I do this. this. I, know. I know. I, I'm, I'm sure the import tariffs will be gone by the time we get to this. I don't want to base my decision guessing which way it's going to go. I just think we need to do I it. Don't, I don't think the import tariffs are going to hurt us. Okay. They are. They do. Okay. Tax on Okay, Article 6. All right. Article so we, 6. We don't know about the finance code. We don't. Oh, yeah. They'll be back. Yeah. Article 6. It hasn't changed. I'll just say that. <clears throat> Article 6? Yeah. I'm not going to. Yeah. I have faith in Joe. 
So article I'll make a motion to approve Article 6. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay, 3-0. They have to go on, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you got one on six. Yes. Marijuana. Marijuana. No. Okay, we're, we're, we're finishing up in there. So. <laughs> <laughs> you can either have a vote or no. Does the finance committee really have to vote on Article 6? Uh, I gave him the opportunity because there was initially some uh, very strong feelings in favor um, yeah. of it. There's no money involved, though. Uh, well, there will be... Um, There's the 3%. Yeah, we already passed that. Right. We did. Okay, so... This is no a basically a zoning order. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We don't need 20. Okay. All right. So, vote for 6. It's a zoning article. There's no money involved. Yeah. I'll just so take your name Okay. Um, I, will, I will fix that on the... Uh, Draft. Um, sorry, and the board vote was three to nothing. Three zero, yeah. Three zero. Okay. Um, we will print out the final version of this. Do we do we have do we have their vote on uh, no. Article Five? No, we're still waiting. We don't have their vote on Article Five. I'm just going to say not available. I'm just going to say, is there a vote? Oh, yeah. go ahead. How no recommendation, Article 6. Article 5, zero, 4. Okay. Zero to four. That's so correct. opposed. How much was so the no cost last time? Zero to four. No okay. What was the final number? So you got four negative votes. I don't know. I wasn't. Okay. What, what, what was the final number for the cost of the garage? 3.7. Last what? time. No, no. It wasn't that much, was it? Yeah, it was. But how, some of that oh, was we were going to get hit by the state, or somebody was going to we'll, we'll, subsidize we'll, some of that. We, we had some of that, you know, in our um, budgets already. You know, we had savings that was going to pay. Yeah. In our, yeah. The garage one, one and a half. Or, our, the garage yeah, fund right now. Room, the garage fund right was going to be one point nine million. Yeah. And yes. Right. Right. Oh, from, uh, from 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 the stabilization the fund. fund. Oh, yeah. So now we've built the stabilization back up again. Where did it Was go? the chairperson want to report the uh, jury's verdict? Or he did. Oh, well, he we, did. we spent some of it in the two and a half. He did. He did. On other stuff. No. Right. Next, next item, town right. clerk. Uh, uh, proposed policies on it's absentee ballot now. voting, okay. Okay. early voting. Right. Gentlemen yes. and lady, oh, thank, no. you. Okay. thank you. Thank you. Thanks. John, can you make a motion to sign the warrant? Well, uh, we, I have not, right? Okay, I'll make a motion that we sign the warrant. Do I have a second? Second. Yes. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, Lise. Yeah. <clears throat> How many copies do we have to sign? Just one. Just one. I'm glad you didn't have a lot of things on the agenda tonight. <laughs> that took longer than I thought. I uh, don't know why they okay. scheduled their meeting. Uh, town really? clerk proposed policies on absentee ballot voting and early voting. Um, right. Do you have a comment on this or should I just read it? Uh, you can just read it. Yeah, absentee ballot voting and early voting policies. This is from our town clerk. Uh, during the period of early voting and or absentee ballot voting, no political signs or attempts at political persuasion are permitted on the town hall property located at, well, 32 Main Street. That's the town office property, actually, at 32 Main Street. In addition, no political signs or attempts at political persuasion are permitted on any other municipal building property during the period that it is used 
that it is used for early voting. That is used for early voting. Okay. During the period that it is used for early voting. During, During the period, period that, that the, it is used that for the property early. is used for early voting. Okay. So this is extending the uh, the prohibition on political signage right. to all town buildings yep. during early voting and uh, uh, absentee voting. Is this looked over by the town lawyers? The First Amendment restrictions? Those are people like to sue over those. Um, it's 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 the same no, restriction that's in place that's in place it's for it's election day. On, on election day. Okay. 150 feet of the of the uh, polling place. Okay. Right. Okay. And, and and but this is just for on the town property. So this is a policy. Um, do I have a, I'll make a motion we approve the absentee valid voting and early voting policies. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Okay. Okay, next item, leave of absence request for the tax collector. Tom? Uh, the tax collector has requested time off. Um, we'd like to start that retroactively um, from Monday, August 13th through Friday, September 8th. Uh, this, is, um, this is approved by the treasurer collector uh, and is for personal reasons. Okay. Um, Could I, so um, is, there, is there a town policy with regard to under 20 hour a week employees being able to do this? At the discretion of their supervisor. It is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no. So it, um, all right, because once you grant it to one, if a supervisor says no to another, uh, the time you said this is in the discretion practice. of, of the supervisor. The, this there, is, should, yeah, there should be course. guidelines and ground rules for that reasons that they can and cannot, whatever. It can't be unlimited to script, whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. If they, somebody says no, we're open. If it's vague like that, we're open to lawsuits. Well, I think I think it's addressed in the personnel policy. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, I'll make a motion that we approve the leave of our tax collector, uh, Lynn Kane. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay. Okay, next uh, is um, send a letter to Comcast requesting a course estimate uh, for serving unserved addresses. So th we all may have read a copy of this. So this came up in the meeting that we had with Comcast talking about the franchise agreement. One of the things we raised was as part of the franchise agreement, we would like to know what the cost would be to serve any homes that are still unserved. And what Comcast requested is that we make this request under the MBI state program that's doing the extension, that in the MBI agreement with Comcast, towns can request the cost of extending Comcast to all of the still unserved homes. And that I'd like to make I'd like to correct a typo. That that by doing it under the MBI agreement, there will be a lot more pressure for Comcast to do this quickly because the MBI agreement ends in the end of August and and plus a little bit of cleanup time after that, but that the state will and Comcast will do this quickly and, and they're all geared up, all the construction people, they have all of the data to finish this project. And it would make more sense to do that than to try to do it as part of the franchise agreement. So to us, it doesn't make any difference. Neither would cost the town any money. But so this is, this is Conway making the request to Comcast under the MBI agreement for them to tell us how much it's going to cost. The language came from Comcast to yes. say, please ask us this. Um, but it was missing a word. We want it on long, we want it on long paper? Thank you. And for, and for us, the very good thing is there are not very many homes. Yeah, but the ones that are, it's the people that just want to live in, on a mountaintop for urban, but then now they want what everybody else has got to. Okay, basically what this says, this letter says it's to, um, uh, Eileen uh, Leahy, the senior manager who's been dealing with us from Comcast, 
It says pursuant to section nine of the grant distribution agreement, the town of Conway requests a cost estimate of serving the unserved area of the town to expand the network to premises that would otherwise remain unserved upon completion of the project. That's about what, six houses? I would say fewer than that. Four houses, maybe. Yeah. Okay, somewhere between four and six. Yeah. Okay. So um, if, if, if what we want is for them to actually go ahead and wire those last four houses, why are we just asking for a cost estimate? To find out how much it costs. But we don't really care. We're not paying for it. Well, we're not sure about how that funding's going to be yet. It, the franchise agreement is not going to get signed for a couple more years. And the towns that have negotiated their franchise, there are some towns whose schedule are causing them to sign their franchise agreements right now. So far, Comcast has refused to do any additional homes other than the ones they've completed under the MBI agreement. So, so what this will allow us to do is to think about whether we want to bring up a town meeting to have the town help pay to do this ah. or or to inform people of what the cost would be if they're interested ah. or whatever i mean i don't know what our options are going to be now but but we have no authority to demand comcast do this yeah. and and uh, uh, okay i'll make a motion we approve signing of this letter do i have a second second all in favor yes okay I would love it if we had any kind of power like that at all. Just, we can still write the letter and still ask them to. And the they, they, we, they will be part of this franchise negotiation agreement. I used to train horses for, Bar for Brian Roberts and his wife. We know. When, we, okay. when we did this 10 years ago, they did 110 homes in Northern Conway. It was unbelievable. Right. Okay, next item on the agenda. Sign the election warrant for the state primary election. Okay. Everybody seen this warrant? Yep. It's just a simple warrant yeah. of uh, of our state and uh, federal elections. Uh, I'll make a motion that we sign this warrant. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. This is standard. We do this yeah. every election. Set the date of the all committee meeting. Tom, do you have a comment on that? Yeah, uh, Lisa and I were looking over past practice and uh, our own schedules and thought that October 29th fit both of those bills pretty well. It's roughly when we've done it in the past and it's when our schedules are pretty good. So we would suggest October 29th, Does that Mo which is a Monday and we typically, it's a select board meeting. We have all committee more meeting. Than, right, I mean, it's so... Uh, to, to not so we're going to schedule a meeting but we don't really know when it starts it's going to be after the conclusion of the select board meeting yeah, no one we'll, no, we'll we have a specific time yeah we just, probably just be picking a date probably seven o'clock we'll keep yeah. the agenda light for the select board meeting that okay. night okay and we'll right after that we'll have the yeah you've, been, you've, been, start you've been to those meetings yeah yeah, yeah. um okay my only objection there's a Patriots game that night. And I don't know that I'm the only Patriots fan. Yeah, you are. But <laughs> we'll we'll make sure it's over by eight o'clock. Okay. So Okay. So Oh wait, it's a nine o'clock start, right? Uh eight fifteen. Well, okay, we'll we'll eight limit ten. the meeting <laughs> to to eight fifteen. Okay. okay. Excellent. That's all yeah. right. So, fifteen minutes. Uh, I, don't, I don't want people to not come to the meeting because they are dedicated Patriots fans. Okay. We, we, can, we can have the select board meeting at 5, and it can start at 6.30. We'll see who shows up. And everybody that has Comcast now, you can just look at it on your Xfinity. We can all, we can all go, to, you know. We'll get a big screen out. TV. No, uh, uh, yeah, how's that? Okay. <laughs> they have gone longer than I just wanted to make right, sure you knew there was a game. Well, well, was on Sunday that we I'll, I'll we're make playing it. the Bills. Uh, I'll make, come on. No, I'll make that's a always a cupcake game. I'll make a motion that we set the old committee meeting for October 29. Do I have a second? Sure. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Um, yes. Lisa, when you get a chance, can you print out the, um, uh, the appointment sheet for Jonathan Barkin? Thanks. Uh, we have any items not anticipated 48 hours in advance? No. No. Okay. Um, town Administrator update. 
Thomas. Boom. News. Uh, committees and boards. The wheel. The uh, personnel committee met with Kristen Gordon, principal of the Conway Grammar School, for this for a discussion including crossover personnel issues. Uh, they're also finishing what, the what slate. Are, what are crossover personnel issues? Uh, school employees are employees of the town as well as uh, the structure that they have within the school department. We pay them. We, um, they are town employees, so we're coming to grips with all the things we have to do in order to deal with that uh, that aren't covered already by the uh, school system. Okay. Uh, they're also finishing a slate of formal revisions to the employee handbook. Uh, we keep coming up with, with more nuances and details. Um, over the next year, they will deliberate on possible changes, not only to existing policies, but also to the personnel bylaw, which might need amendment now that the committee is fully functioning. Uh, there are two committees planning to take advantage of some technical assistance from the FERCOG. The Energy Committee is going to be getting some assistance in planning how to move ahead with our Green Communities program, as we're now able to make competitive grant applications. And the Community Preservation Committee is going to be working on how to use the money set aside for affordable housing, though since the Housing Committee is inactive, they are unable to appoint a representative to the CPC. Uh, the Board of Health has problems with a compactor which may need repair before next year. Uh, it is currently not on the capital improvements planning spreadsheet, but will be once I've sent all notes to the committee. Uh, the highway department was delayed by the lane paving work. Which, uh, which compactor are they on trouble with? I don't the, know which the one. paper or the trash? Uh, I think it's trash. Trash. It's the one they repaired the rails on last year. Um, no, okay. or the uh, there's wheels and rails. I think they were they uh, replaced the wheels last year, and now the rails are in need of replacement. Maybe rails. Uh, I don't know all of the details. Okay. Uh, that is one thing that might require a special town meeting at some point. Um, well, aren't they now? Aren't they getting a windfall from everybody's so. new ten dollar sticker? Wouldn't that be enough? A, a windfall. 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 Windfall, yes. Uh, I, yeah, we we're talking in the realm of twenty thousand dollars. What does it cost? For, uh, and uh, for how much they're getting for the stickers? They might get five thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars. Yeah, wow. max. Yeah, probably six hundred and seventy-six stickers uh, times ten, six thousand yeah. seven hundred, maybe. That's households. Um. Um, departments. Uh, we're working on setting up a town meeting page on the website that will have both current and historical information. Uh, the Conway Grammar School water tank was successfully cleaned and lined on schedule. There was some problem with the portal hatch, but that was able to be replaced with no additional cost. Many thanks to Wemet Plumbing and Heating for assisting on the town side. I heard separately that his contribution was very, very uh, invaluable. Oh, great. Yeah, Thank definitely you. deserves a mention. Yeah. Thank you to Ken on that. Uh, we have not heard a reply from Lane Construction as of Friday, our deadline, about being relieved of our part in the regional paving contract. Uh, therefore, we're assuming that, that we are because they did not object, um, uh, you know, Ten, 10 days, we gave them to object to our leaving the contract, and they did not object, so that's a good, uh, a good signal for moving forward. Uh, as you know, the Franklin Regional Council of Governments is planning to hold a workshop on succession planning. At this time, they're planning to hold a workshop in either October or November to begin the discussion, but are still finalizing the date. Uh, and I encourage everybody to go to as many uh, Council of Governments uh, town official trainings as you can. They tend to be very informative with great discussion, very down-to-earth questions and answers. What's, you mean succession planning like wills and estates? No, uh, like no. Uh, department heads. Department heads. Hiring. Yeah. 
because people are getting scarce out there, very scarce. Yeah. Two volunteers today. Yeah, I got their numbers. <laughs> Make sure Lisa gets. Them. Um, both the highway department and the wastewater committee submitted applications for Mass Works grants. The highway department is for road work under the former STRAP program. There's, I believe, I believe the highway department got their uh, application in. Um, the uh, small town rural assistance program, which is now just for roads. The wastewater committee's grant is for downtown community a downtown community septic system, uh, which would mean the only cost would be operations and maintenance. Depending on how many houses signed up, the annual cost would be between four hundred and eight hundred dollars. This would also allow for the expansion of commercial or mixed use activity in the village center. So, just to follow up with that, from the, the minutes from that we approved for the, for last week's meeting, um, you were going to ask somebody about why they answered their grant application about the private property next door, the private development that the project was intended to benefit a private development. Yeah, that was that Joe. was that was Joe. Right. Um, I did send him a note. I'm not. I didn't get a copy of the. Maybe I did get a copy of the final grant application. I'll look. Um, I didn't see, but I did raise the uh, raise the issue. I should, I should have brought this up. To but you I'm, I'm sure yeah. it was the housing uh, project, and now that that's not happening, um, I would hope you can change that answer to no, so that the yeah, grant and, and I'm sure that, that once through. we've uh, you know submitted it on time, we can amend it as well. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Tim. Uh, any any select board comments tonight? I'm done no. commenting out. Good. Okay. Yeah. Mail, mail. Let's see. We did get uh, we did get a letter uh, concerning some uh, items uh, about the agricultural commission, um, and hopefully like this can be resolved at uh, at that level, mm -hmm. and it doesn't have to go any further. Copy than that. on the letter to the Ag Commission. Uh, someone, see someone's ma made a complaint uh, regarding agricultural operations. So that's what the Right to Farm bylaw was set up to do, is set up a mediation process. So did um, this get moved from two weeks ago to now? Or, or didn't uh, Jason right. came in and talked to us about this? This is the same mm -hmm. thing from last week. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a different letter. Oh. It's an update. It's an update. Oh, it's an, oh okay. Oh, I'd love to see it then. Okay, any announcements? No announcements. Okay. Uh, our next meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, September the 4th. That's the day after Labor Day. Uh, here in the town offices at 6 o'clock. That's voting day. That is. That's election day. It's election day. No yes, campaign it. literature in town hall. That's a policy I hear. <laughs> When okay. we go back to when we go back to one once a week, um, January. Wait a the the fourth is only one week. Only one week. No, no, it's two weeks. Yeah, it's it two is. Weeks. Yeah, it's yeah. two weeks. It's two weeks. There's ten days to the end of the month. Plus I'm four. on the wrong month. Oh, okay. That could do November fourth. Got it. Okay. Okay, if there's no other business to come before the board, uh, I will uh, make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Yes. Aye. All in favor? Yes. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, you all Lisa. very much. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, everybody.